please uh, state your names and where you're from, would you? Lysian from Sydney. Mm. Sue from Perth. Mm. Patrick from Sydney. Mm. <laughs> Sydney and Perth, would they be towns in Scotland? <laughs> no. no. Where are they? Sydney. <laughs> <laughs> Australia. Australia. Australia, yeah. Australia. Now, here's the problem. I don't know if you know this, but the Australian press have been giving me a very hard time recently. They've called me all sorts of names because they said I hated Canberra, which I don't. I've never been to Canberra, and... Yeah. <laughs> I don't really have any feelings... Well, I didn't have any feelings about Canberra until the Canberrans, or Canberronians... What do you call them? <laughs> People from Canberra. Well, not the, I don't know the people, but the, the, the Canberroons. Right, they were. Uh, they're very angry at me. They were saying I was bad mouthing their town, and apparently you're not allowed to bad mouth the town of Canberra unless you're actually from Australia. Is that true? Yes, very much. So. In that case, I'd like to apologise. I, I'd like to apologise, but I'm afraid I can't. <laughs> Even although it's been reported in the Canberra local paper that I did apologize, let me assure you I did not. Crikey! <laughs> what happened was... What happened was that I apologized to... Who did I apologize to? A guest on the show. A guest on the show. <laughs> who was Australian? Please yeah, please. as I apologize to you, lovely Australians. And uh, I, I love Australia, the parts of it I've seen, and the way you all... Smell slightly of beer. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm going to apologize. <laughs> they don't smell of beer at all. You are lovely. Are you on holiday here in America? It's sort of, yeah. Yes. Yes. No, I live here. You live here? I do. Right. Do you, you didn't know each other before this? No. Whatever this is? <laughs> <laughs> but now you're going to stay in touch and become a, an Australian gang. Yes. <laughs> At Lesbian you, Row. In Lesbian Row. <laughs> well, you're in Lesbian Row and you're not in Lesbian Row. And yet you express a desire or maybe you're just curious to try. <laughs> Perhaps a little seat in Lesbian Row and see what it feels like. <laughs> Come sit with us. No. <laughs> Let's clear this up once and for all. I love Australia. I don't know anything about Canberra. I probably said some naughty things about Canberra as a Rocky Dingo joke. <laughs> <laughs> when I was talking to another Australian. If that upset you, may I suggest you concentrate on something else? <laughs> <laughs> Trying to stop the larger Australian lesbian sitting on the smaller Australian. <laughs> It's a... Uh, oh. <laughs> don't know if anybody noticed. You know, I've been coming out here for years. I come up, I hit the side of the camera, and it goes bang. There's a big bang noise, right? Like, I... <laughs> what the hell happened to my bang? 
Nothing, I just do it quietly. No. I like to bang quietly. In the evening. Yes, apparently I still like to... You've lost your bang? Oh, it's like a children's story. It's the, the creepy old douche who lost his bang. Oh, dear. Well, never mind. It's still a great day for America, everybody. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Because uh, President Obama unveiled his 2012 campaign slogan today. It's simply the word forward. <laughs> no, that's not, that's it, really. Forward. I don't know if they're doing that with their hands. They might. Forward. <laughs> Historians say this is the first time a sitting president has used a one-word slogan since 1996 when Bill Clinton used the word, hmm. <laughs> Stressed about my bang not working. I'm still not over it. But anyway, I never. I had a fantastic weekend. I was doing the stand-up comedy at the Pacific North, the Pacific Northwest. That's not code. I was up the. Uh, I was in uh, Portland, Oregon. I loved it there. It's so relaxed. The city motto is whatever, dude. <laughs> Everyone leans slightly, actually, they lean slightly to the left. They, uh... <laughs> but they, they say a lot, there's a lot of hipsters up there. But I'm like, what, what is a hipster? Because I'm into Doctor Who, I like vinyl records. I'm a Gryffindor. Does that make... <laughs> Does that make me a, hip, a hipster? Or more of a docs, a, a dorkster, maybe? A dorkster? <laughs> Only the sorting hat knows for sure. <laughs> or maybe I'm just a creepy old douche. <laughs> A creepy old douche with a silent bang. <laughs> anyway, I went to a great diner in Portland. It was very old school. It was uh, uh, the original Hot Cakes and Steakhouse. I was confused at first because of the name, Hot Cakes and Steak. <laughs> that was the name of the boy band I was in in the 80s with Mario Lopez. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? He was Hot Cake, I was Steak. Do we have a picture of the boy band, me and Mario? Yeah! <laughs> hot Cakes and Steak, come on! You remember us? Our big single was Butter Me Up Amigo. <laughs> yeah, Butter Me Up Amigo. That was it, yeah. <laughs> butter Me Up Amigo. My bang is silent. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'm talking about uh, this diner in Portland. You know, I was there quite late at night because it was a show. I was working on a show, so I went quite late. And there were a lot of other patrons there about 2 a.m. And they seemed hungry. <laughs> <laughs> I say people in Oregon smoke a lot of weed, but the state bird is the iguana. <laughs> <laughs> this is true, though. The city of Portland got its name in a coin flip. In 1845, the people found in the city flipped a point. A point. Yeah. <laughs> a point's an old word for coin. Was Do you have one of those points? And they flipped a point, and it came up heads and so it was named after the winner's hometown of portland and maine the guy who lost was so ashamed he took the next covered wagon back to his hometown of ass flaps tennessee <laughs> uh, i know this is junk but we enjoy it don't we you know what portland has a lot of microbreweries i think they're like regular breweries except they only serve midgets now i don't drink <laughs> But I'm going back there in June because they have an annual nude bike ride. And I've, wanted, I've always wanted to ride a bike in the nude. It's dangerous, though. Dangerous. You need a big helmet. <laughs> For safety. Anyway, after, after Portland, I, I drove up to Seattle. It felt great driving along the open road with the top down. I didn't have a convertible. I just drive with my shirt off. <laughs> I'm still finding bugs in my chest hair. <laughs> Do we have a map of the route? I took up. Oh, no, no, no. There you go. Yeah. 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 <laughs> right, right. Why? Wait. <laughs> Two questions. One, why does the map explode into confetti? <laughs> And two, why is my eye always drawn to the person who hated it most? <laughs> like, right after, I looked over there and I saw a girl going... <sighs> <laughs> like, I know it's junk, we're doing our best! <laughs>
Anyway, when I, when I was going up there, I passed through the town of uh, Corvallis, uh, the home of the Oregon State Beavers. That's the team name. You can Google it. They play great football. Other teams can't wait to come to Corvallis and play with the Beavers. <laughs> you know, interestingly, applause begun in Lesbian Row there. Did you see that? Anyway. Seattle was fantastic. It reminds me of San Francisco, except in Seattle, when it rains, it rains actual water instead of men. But I went to the... <laughs> I went to the Space Needle. Uh, you know, the, the, the Space Needle in Seattle, and the sign says... Uh, they had this sign, you can go in the VIP line for an extra eight bucks. I thought, ooh, the VIPs will get snacks, binoculars, the legal right to throw regular peas over the side. <laughs> but you don't. All you get is your picture taken first. <laughs> Like, you know the thing where they take your picture next to a picture of the Space Needle? You get to, that's the line you get to the head of, and that's it. Eight extra bucks for that? I'm like, that's a rip-off! However, the Space Needle itself was very cool. Very cool. I'm from another country, that's how we pronounce it. It was very cool. It was built in 1962, the year I was born. Now, the Space Needle and I are very different, of course. One's a big phallic symbol that people pay money to get their picture taken with. <laughs> Wait for it. And the other one is... Space Needle! Space Needle. Yeah. See, that worked out. That worked out. Did it work? That was awesome. I think it worked rather well. Have you ever been to Seattle? I rather missed you this Oh, weekend. yeah, no, I've, I've got a place there. In Seattle, really? Oh, yeah, you should have called me. I could have uh, got you the hookups there at the Needle. <laughs> well, I see, I thought the Space Needle... Uh, the Space Needle itself was great. I just thought there was a little bit of jiggery-pokery going on with the VIP line thing. An extra eight bucks and nothing. Yeah, eight bucks. How many points is that? <laughs> Man. I'm just speaking your lingo, man. I'm just, what the hell? No, you, I mean, on, you're man. coming after me. No, you're coming you're after playing. me. I'm here for you, man. Yeah, you're here for me. You're here for you. <laughs> you're here for you. There's one person you care about, and that's Jeff Peterson, gay robot skeleton of TV. Butter me up, amigo. <laughs> Did you like that song? I love that song. Oh, it's a good song. I'm very proud of that song. Butter, butter me up, up amigo. <laughs> butter me up. And we go... To the store. Oh, I love the next part. It was a uh, oh, yeah. white or rye, you're my kind of guy. Yeah. <laughs> white or rye. <laughs> you're my kind of guy. Hey, man. Oh, I didn't oh, write yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think we have a hit on our head. Oh, yeah. All right, do the thing. Sure. We'll be right back with more robot and the creepy old doucheter who lost his bang after this. <laughs> Tonight, Jeff and I are discovering that we enjoy the same taste in music, right, Jeff? That's true. Butter me up, amigo. Butter me up, amigo. Stack that butter real high. <laughs> Stack that butter real high, all right? You had a full-length commercial break, and that's the best you could come up with. Stack that butter real high? Hey, you're the one who wrote the song, man. <laughs> If only that were true. <laughs> I wish. I wonder if. Uh, no. Do you think Mario Lopez would like to reform the band? I think that's highly unlikely. Oh come on! He's got a sense of humor. Uh, that Mario Lopez. He, we could get together and uh, he could take his shirt off. I'd butter him up and sing a song. Well, maybe. Maybe we should uh, take a poll. A poll? <laughs> and also find out if anybody wants you guys to get back together again. <laughs> What do you mean, a poll of the old, the old fans of yeah. all, all cake and steak? Yeah, all what, the old what fans. All cake and steak? Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, man. Oh, boy. Uh, um, never mind. All right, yeah, well, uh, what time is it, Jeffrey Peterson? Tonight's Street Mail is brought to you by Hot Cakes and Steaks. New hit single, Syrup Gets in Your Eye. <laughs> 
Twitter, Twitter, tweeting, tweeting, ephemeral, ephemeral, fleeting, fleeting, Google web, face code, quiz zone, ask mode, checks the tweets, 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 and also email. This is uh, from Kelly in Cincinnati, Ohio. You ever been to... Uh, oh, yeah, I got a place. Yeah, you got a place there in Ohio? Would you like to do that? No, 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 no. Beads and flapjacks. <laughs> <laughs> Dear Craig and GP, it's almost summer and my ex-boyfriend will be coming back from college any day now. How do I keep him from stalking me when he lives on my street? <laughs> How do you know he wants to stalk you? He's been away in college. Maybe he's uh, seen something else. Maybe he's moved on. <laughs> Maybe you should look to yourself, Kelly. <laughs> Maybe you're the one that's doing the stalking. <laughs> CBS cares. <laughs> what do you think? Man, that was deep. <laughs> deep and boring. <laughs> this is from Melanie in Pittsburgh and uh, there, there. You ever been to oh, Pittsburgh yeah, there, Jeff? Pittsburgh, yeah. <laughs> but you don't have a place there. Oh, I don't. I don't. I just like to travel there once a year. Once a year you go to Pittsburgh. Why oh, do you go yeah. there? Some kind of festival you enjoy there? Yeah, yeah. The, uh, the, Pitts bang, the bang Festival. The Pitts oh, yeah. The Pittsburgh Silent Bang yeah. Festival. Yeah. yeah. That's a... Please, don't clap. That's very unsilent bang. No, these people would not fit in at the Silent no, Bang No, no. The Silent Bang Festival, uh, clapping is, uh, is deeply discouraged. What, what, you're, what you're encouraged to do at the Silent Bang Festival in Pittsburgh is do this. <laughs> Jeff, could you demonstrate? <laughs> Couldn't have said it better myself. Thanks, Jeff. <laughs> Anyway, Melanie says, Dear Craig and Jeff, I've started a new job this week, but my co-workers don't seem to be overly friendly. How do I break the tension? Oh, take your top off. <laughs> <laughs> Certainly warmed David Letterman to me when I started. <laughs> this is from Gary in Melbourne in Florida. <laughs> Hi, Craig and Jeff. I recently found a wallet and sent it to the owner without getting so much as a thank you. What gives? Oh, all right. Thank you. <laughs> this is from uh, Jordan and Raymore in Montana. You ever been to Raymore, Montana? Oh, yeah, Monta I love Raymore, Montana, yeah. <laughs> but you don't have a place there? No, I, I, I just get there a couple times a year. A couple of times a year. What are you going to Raymore from Montana for? Uh, they have a, a rare uh, point collector's uh, expo. <laughs> <laughs> You say. Yeah, yeah, I've seen you. You were there last year. I was year. there. I've yeah. got a couple of rare points. <laughs> Hi, Craig and Jeff. It's almost 1 a.m. and I'm watch up watching your show instead of finishing my 10-page paper due tomorrow. What should I do? Well, roll a doobie, I would. <laughs> <laughs> like you haven't already. <laughs> and finally, this is from Shelley in San Diego, California. You ever been down oh, there? I love San Diego, yeah. You ever, you, but you don't have a place there? No, I don't. So, how do you know it? I get down there once a year. Uh -huh. uh, what, do you, what do you go there for? For the uh, Grow a Penis Festival. <laughs> Dear Craig and Jeff, I'm in the middle of planning my wedding and I want to make it fun for the guests. Any ideas or suggestions? Why not grow a penis? All right. We'll be right back, everybody. I'm getting too old for it. Hey, caramba! 
My first guest tonight is a very funny comedian. He's got a new special that's called Jim Gaffigan, Mr. Universe. It's exclusively on his website. Take a look at this. Please welcome Jim Gaffigan, everybody. Jim Gaffigan. Jim. Hey. Hey, buddy. Hey. You look great. I love your outfit. It's a little Thank bit, you. uh, it's like a retro, uh, Soviet this vibe. Yes. yes. I call this my communist coat. It's kind of a little bit like I that. I do. And it's, and it's, I wear it to hide the fat. <laughs> That's not why communists wore them. To hide the gut. It's like different levels. You go the untucked shirt, mm. and then you wear a coat, and then a garbage bag. <laughs> thought that men go a certain way with the gut. You either go Texas or Florida. You either go, you know, Texas. No, 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 that's Texas. Texas is like that. And yeah. Florida's, you bring it up over the gut. That's a way to go. I would just go sweatpants. <laughs> Have you ever gone sweatpants? I live in sweatpants. Yeah. This I... is me dressed up. This is me in someone else's suit. Mm. Yeah. Do you ever wear suits? I try not to. I mean, that's why I went into comedy. Exactly. That's, yeah. that's me too. I thought, ah, you'll never get me wearing a suit and sitting behind a desk. Yes. Look at me. <laughs> yeah, that's the great irony. Is I, and then when I get an acting job once every three years, I'm always a guy in a coat and tie. Well, you do have. I mean, I mean, not in your own life, but you do have a slightly creepy vibe that people Thank seem you. to. Uh, people are, but you're not creepy at all. That's what I'm saying. Oh, I'm creepy. Oh, you are. Oh. <laughs> I'm very creepy. No, I don't. I don't think so. I don't know. I mean, hopefully, I'm not creepy. You are a little. You're a little creepy. <laughs> I creep myself out. Me, uh, yeah, I, I do that a with lot. me. Yeah, but you know, that's that's good. That should help with the act. Well, it's a little bit of you know, a little bit of uh, questioning yourself. I think that's all right. If you creep yourself out, it means you've got an eye on things. I mean, well, we're all insane, right? I mean, if you're sure. if you're a comedian, right, and you go on stage and make strangers laugh, it's not that like you can say, I'm a perfectly normal person. That's true, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, no. I'm just a normal person that goes on stage and tries to get... Strange? Strange. Yeah. <laughs> it sounds like you might have a point, point collection. <laughs> that was my point. <laughs> anyway. So, uh, how are things? I follow you on the Twitter. It seems yes. like you have a baby every couple of months, right? Yes. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's an annual thing. We've got four. One more and I can be a Republican nominee. Wow. Uh, I must say, I mean, I, it's uh, four, four, four kids. Uh, it's, although I come from a four, four kid family. Yeah, right. I'm one of six. Oh. I'm one of six. My wife's one of nine. Yeah, you guys are uh, not Presbyterians, are you? No. No. <laughs> we're, we're Orthodox Jews. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> no, uh, but the big family, I didn't, I didn't plan it. I mean, well, I did, but, yeah. I mean, ten years ago, I couldn't get a date, and now my apartment's crawling with babies. Yeah, I, <laughs> trust me, you still won't get a date. It's, uh, it's like someone. It's a different thing. Peanut butter out. So wait, I mean, there, there's all, there's like, you go, they're all under the age of seven. Seven, six, two, and I think ten months around there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's really not that's, walking. That's yet. really. Do you have a very big place to live? No, we have a two-bedroom apartment. It's what the hell. What's wrong with you, man? That's crazy. It's, well, I thought it through. You know. <laughs> no, it's you know we live in Manhattan, so it's that's... you gotta find a place that's not a billion dollars. You know, so what? the entire hard. island of Manhattan isn't big enough to have four kids under the age of seven. That's true. It's it's a lot going That's on. True. Maybe you should you should move out of the city. I uh, no, okay. I can't do that. Yeah, I, I'm too lazy. I like the convenience of. I want food. It's 2 a.m. I can go downstairs. Yeah. and there's a store there. All over America, they have something similar called a refrigerator. And <laughs> you can do a very similar thing. I don't thing. want to be limited. You know, I don't want your <laughs> socialism of food. I want to be able to decide what I want and go and get it. Well, that's fair enough. I want freedom of food. Is what you're saying? I do. I Good freedom. I, I feel like I need the energy of New York too. I'm a low energy it's a, guy, it's so it's amazing. like I love the energy. Yeah, it's great. I wish I still lived there, and then I wouldn't have to work here. Right. <laughs> LA's a bit depressing as a town, I think, and, and, unless it's very sunny, which there's is no one, You know, what's great about LA is there's no one in the entertainment industry here. That's true. It's such a diverse just, range of conversation. Like, what do you do? Oh, you work in entertainment, too? I know. What are the odds? Yeah. How interesting. Yeah, I know. This won't weird. affect my self-esteem at all. <laughs> 
out your special. It's only on your website? Yes. Now, a lot only... of guys are doing that now, aren't yes, they? Yes, a lot of people are doing it. It's, uh, Louis C.K. started it. Right. And selling it on, a, you know, the website, $5 to download the whole thing. And I don't know. I think it's a good deal. I mean, I love Comedy Central. Sometimes people are like, do you hate Comedy Central? Is that why you're doing this? And it's like, I love Comedy Central. They're doing my stand-up tour, but... It was something to try, and it's, it's... It's like being Radiohead, but a comedian. I am I am Radiohead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's I'm very good. I'm more Nine Inch Nails than Radiohead. <laughs> but... I, I don't even understand the references. I, I'm so happy to tell you. I'm more Carpenters than Nine Inch Nails. <laughs> I'm more John Denver. Oh, man. Um, no, but it's, it's... I don't know. It's something to try. And I think it's good. It's I, really, I, you know... Although, as a corporate whore for CBS, I... I deplore the idea of doing that kind of thing. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that would explain your communist jacket there, Jack. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Socialist jacket. Yeah, you'd be all right. Be now, right. where were you? You were in Seattle this weekend? I was, yeah, yeah. Seattle you ever Portland? been up there? I, I love Seattle and Portland. Do you have a little place there? I do have a little place. <laughs> I live with Jeff wherever he might be. Yeah, he's there over he there. Is. Hey, what's happening? Not much. <laughs> uh, he actually got me this coat. Yeah, that's nice. You never get me anything. Oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, Jim, we have to take a commercial break. You yes. wouldn't know what these are uh, because you've got that kind of website download. Thing no commercials there. on the website. Yeah, that's what makes it un-American. That's right. <laughs> we'll be right back. We'll be right back. Just too many people getting involved. Yeah. Welcome back, everybody. Uh, I'm talking to Jim Gaffigan. In person, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you have a point collection, I believe. I do have a point yeah. collection. Do you have any hobbies at all? You can't really know. Not with really. The kids. No. no. I mean, eating, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> do you have hobbies, right? What, do you, what are your hobbies? Uh, yeah. Points? Point. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I point collecting, and then I always try to make it to the Silent Bang Festival. <laughs> 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 I wish I had. Which, uh, probably with four kids in a two-bedroom apartment, it's you probably know a little bit about it, actually. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. Isn't it? I was, I was too far there. You're right. That it was, was fine. Uh, it was great. I um, probably have five kids by now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I, uh, we're out of time. Uh, you want to yes. go for the mouth organ, uh, the uh, awkward pause, or the big cash prize? Uh, big cash. You got to do it. Big what play. time is it, John Stevens? It's time for the big yeah. cash prize. Big Whoa. cash prize right there. $50. In a bag with a dollar sign on it, two ways to win. You can either answer a question or you can guess what's in my box. Here's how that works. I imagine a box in my head. I don't know what's in it. Only Jeff knows what's in it. You guess. If Jeff, uh, then you know, and then if you don't, well, oh, you know. Can you repeat that? Sure. Uh, I'll take the question. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Iceland is in the North Atlantic. Its yeah. capital city is Reykjavik. Yeah. Four U.S. states intersect at the famous Four Corners Monument in the American Southwest. Yes. Name any two of those states. Uh, that's a very good question. Thank you. I wrote it myself. <laughs> First of all, uh, Iceland, uh, the nationality is actually a combination of uh, Scandinavian and Irish slaves. That's why everyone in Iceland looks like me. Um, <laughs> And also, that would be uh, the Four Corners, which is, uh, you can touch four states, and that would be, uh, two of them would be, of course, Colorado and Puerto Rico. <laughs> very right? close, very close. Pretty close. Cool. Yeah, uh, I'll, I'll give you Puerto Rico. Uh, uh, any other states that might be involved? Uh, manic depression? <laughs> We'll accept manic depression. We have also Arizona and Utah. So right there, Jim Gavigan, we'll be right back. Jim Gavigan, we'll be right back. All right. Welcome back, Jim. Welcome back. My next guest is a very talented chef. She's got a new show around the world in 80 plates, which premieres. <laughs> On May the 9th on Bravo, please welcome Kat Cora, everybody. Kat Cora. You're stabbing me. Not yet. All right. 
<laughs> now, Kat, I'm very excited by this because it smells very nice. It smells like a uh, hach. Is there a lot of hach <laughs> involved? There's a lot of hach because this is Medi Medi Middle Eastern food. Middle Eastern, Middle Eastern uh, food. Yeah, Eastern. no, it's nice. A lot of metal drinking. A lot, a lot of hach <laughs> involved. Yeah, exactly. I'm enjoying it. What are you no, going to make? It's so great to be here with you. That's I always great to love be being here. here. I'm becoming a regular here. You are regular here, right? The Craig and Cat show. Sure, I'm, uh, listen, you can do it. <laughs> Me and the, the you don't, now it's the cat uh, show. No, no. Hi everybody, welcome. Oh, All who right, are you? Thing, I'll who help, are you? No, I'll help you. I'll help you. I'll it's do this. I'll, I'll, I'll paint you with this little waggly thing. Ooh, that sounds fun. Yeah, that'd be nice. Ooh, that looks very right. rude. That's actually, like a tickler. That's a little tickler. Yeah, it is like a little tickler. That's for the lesbian section. <laughs> Wait, I want to know. You have the lesbian section. Where's the heterosexual section? <laughs> Where's the bisexual section? You gotta be equal on this show. <laughs> I think some of them are just a little shy. <laughs> and some are, are, are shy curious. Yeah. Shy curious. Shy curious. I like, that. Yeah, I like yeah. that. I like that. That's probably the whole audience, though. So. Mm, a little bit. Yeah. And you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, what are we cooking today? Uh, I don't know. I'd love you to tell me, though, because I'll be standing there. I'm gonna start eating, and you tell me what it okay. is, all right? <laughs> Do you know what you're eating, though? That's the question. Oh, it's delicious, whatever. Do whatever. you know? But, but look at this, though. Look. Mm. What, what are you eating? You gotta ask me. I mean, don't you want to know? I mean, hello. Yeah. Look what, at this. What, what am I Let's eating get a close up on that. Don't you want to know what you're eating before? I mean, <laughs> be careful. All right. Well, I'm presuming you're a celebrity chef, and what's I, here is edible food. That's true. Okay. All right. Come on over here. My yeah, all right. Friend. I'll, I'll, all right. Yeah. All right, come here. Got? Of course I'm going to serve you something really right, safe. You, you, know, you know I love you. All this right. Is this the olive oil? You want a bit of olive oil? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> look at that. Look at, look at, and he's got a tattoo, man. Don't mess with that. That is some serious stuff right there. That'll keep you regular. Woo! Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, all right. So we're going to make hummus. I oh, yeah, you know, I love hummus. hummus. Oh, love I love hummus. the hummus, if yeah. you're drinking your, your olive oil yeah. something with your tattoos, man, you are bad to the bone. That is, that's some serious. Oh, I'm going to be bad know. somewhere else later on. I'm going to have Seriously. All right, now, what you got? Okay, some olive oil goes in, right? Hummus, yeah. You want a hummus, few olives hummus, in there? Hummus, a little hummus, and uh, some, not yet, not yet. All right, yet. yeah. What about some hach? You want yeah, some hach? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's tahini. All right. A little tahini goes in the, in the hummus, okay? Yeah. You put some tahini. I want you, can you chop that garlic a little bit? Yeah, chop, chop the, the garlic. garlic. You got it. Chop All some right. garlic. Chop some garlic. <laughs> a little bit of lemon juice goes in the hummus. Hum the hummus. <laughs> You know, you should get one of them choppy things. <laughs> Oregano? Yeah. I'm so Jeff, help me out here. He's getting a little wild and crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jeff, that, come is on. That chopped enough? Okay, chopped enough. That's good. And those yeah. are my knife. Look, that's a sharp knife. That's a yeah. good knife. Right there. Uh, Watch right. your fingers. All right. Want some lemon in there? Blend, blend, blend. Blend, no lemons, want no some lemons. Lemons in there? Yeah. You want some <laughs> I know. You're get, you get kinky this hour. Yeah, that's kinky right. Yeah, in your Let's region. <laughs> kinky in your region. <laughs> from uh, Hot Cake and Steak, right? That was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> right, you need some yeah. of this? What's He's this? He's no help. Jack's no help back there. You're right. Okay, now look. We have the hummus here. Look, I blended it all up. And it We've looks, got all it, your beautiful garlic in there. And look at this. Pita nice. bread. Oh, oh, I like it. Yeah, yeah, that, I look, know you're hungry. You know, and they're like little... Like, boom, right out of them. <laughs> little Frisbees. Yeah, look at that. Either Ooh, yeah, pita bread or yeah, yes. that's nice. Are you gonna, now, if you put the hummus yes. in, do they still uh, fly? Oh, lesbians, cover yourself. Cover yourself. Oh, that's okay. Right. So now we have. Look, this is goes fantastic with this great um, pita. Um, it's got Delicious. pita bread salad with a cucumber is, tomato. Uh, hey, you know what? Salad. Uh, this yes. Is good, this is good for uh, summer garden. Some grapes. Yeah. Uh. Grapes here. I know you're hungry. Here, you haven't eaten. Don't, you know, you've got to eat. Oh, yeah. You're just a late night chef. <laughs> Soak everything up like your olive oil no, cocktail. Because mm -hmm. he doesn't drink. He doesn't drink anymore, so he's got to drink something. Okay? Yeah. You know those sober people. Yeah, they got to drink you're something. You're clapping now, waiting you know? until you're in line for the restroom after the show. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and then I've got a tabbouleh salad. That's fantastic with grapes. Lots of grapes. Here. Now, here. No, wait a minute. No. Jeff, here. There's a grape for you. Uh. Back there. Okay. <laughs> now, moving along. We got to make me 
meatballs. We got meat. We got. We got meatballs. Okay. I don't know what's going on. Right there. Let's call. I think. We, you know what? Let's call out Secretariat. Secretariat. All right. Okay. Who's Secretariat. Picking some bread apart. Just pull it apart. Okay, I've got some meatballs. We're gonna make meatballs. Okay. Yeah. Meatballs. All right. So we're gonna put in a little bit. Of... Is <laughs> Everybody that what these? Meatballs. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. Is that what these are? Yes, those oh, are meatballs. Oh, and we come full they're circle. They're long meatballs, though. Yeah. Well, they're. Yeah. They're long balls. <laughs> okay. So now yeah, yeah. we're gonna put in a little bit of uh, spices. A little spice. Right. All right. Okay. Little. little Spices, start putting in some spices. That's paprika, oh, right. a little bit of cinnamon, a little bit of coriander, a little bit of coriander, a little bit of cumin. <laughs> so I'm, yeah. I'm going to translate cumin, a little bit of bread in there. Bread. Thank right, you. We have to take a break. We'll be right back with Cat Car. We'll be right back. <laughs> British love, American pride. It's very bad luck to change the name of a pub. Is it? Oh, wow. Is it? Yeah. It is. Yeah. It's a really bad idea. Anyway, it's, it's a little bit of history on a British uh, street corner that you've just, just destroyed. Just for one moment, yeah. just for this Some evening, if you change the name of your pub, you're cursed oh, forever. Do we need to leave now? <laughs> what did we learn on the show tonight, Greg? <laughs> well, I think we learned how to make hummus. <laughs> And meatballs. Yeah, you got dessert? Look. Are we going to do... Oh, you got to stolen dessert, the meatballs? Yes. All right. Look how big my ball... I mean, your balls are. <laughs> Sorry. My meatballs are bigger than your... My balls are bigger than yours. Yeah. Okay. How is that possible? Whatever okay. you have to tell yourself, baby. <laughs> <laughs> okay, listen. So, Craig, mm -hmm. we're finishing off, my darling, mm -hmm. with the baklava. Oh. That's baklava, not baklava. Oh, yeah. I hate it when people baklava. say that. Hell. Yeah. Okay. All right. Baklava. Some problems later on. Yeah. Right, tonight. Yeah, I'm like serious. we didn't have problems before. <laughs> okay, now I need you. To, can you get some like? Fun? Hey, you want me to smash those Please. nuts? <laughs> smash your. <laughs> yeah. See? That's what happens when you drink a bottle of olive oil right there. That's what happens. So look, they're ready. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And look how big my balls are. Yeah. No, uh, is the bar finished, is it? It's finished. Okay, good. Oh my god. Well, I think we learned how to make a terrific summer meal involving uh, a lot of olive oil and violence. Violence? Violence?